Hey, I'm Ashley and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're already a subscriber, I'm so happy to have you back. Today we're talking about fashion. Hence me getting a little dressed up, throwing on some makeup. I love this topic and specifically we're talking about spring trends for 2021 that I think are great and wearable and that I'm just excited about. And especially today because it is snowing out in Minnesota and also in Texas. So I think we're all just looking very forward to spring and the warm weather and the colors and all the things that come with it. I decided to throw my Valentine's Day flowers in the background just to cheer the mood up a little bit, but let's dive into these trends. The first trend we're talking about today is one that I am wearing, black and white. I love this trend because I think it's completely attainable for the everyday person. You probably have something black in your closet as well as a white piece. So there you go, you're already on trend. I always think it's nice to invest in black and white pieces too because they really don't ever go out of style. And if you're into minimalism, this is definitely a trend for you. However, I did also see a lot of dresses on the runway, like maxi dresses with beautiful prints and plays with the contrast between black and white. And I think it will be fun seeing people kind of play with their style in that way this spring too, especially because we've all been at home in loungewear for a long time. So I think people are definitely excited to get out and kind of show themselves off. But like I said, you can do black and white and it can feel minimal. You can do it and it can feel really bold. I think there's just so many ways to play with this trend and I'm excited to see it. Trend number two in stark contrast to black and white is color. And this is a trend that is kind of out of my comfort zone, I would say. I specifically noted bubblegum pink, tennis ball green, and also tangerine I saw in our fall line sheets. So these colors are bright and bold, kind of pastel -y, and it's not something that I normally have in my closet per se, but I'm definitely trying to incorporate it in ways like accessories on my fingers, rings, <laughs> accessories on my fingers, um, purses, just ways that I wouldn't have to spend a ton of money on them, but I can kind of feel like I'm still on trend and with the times. I saw color, however, in the shows in so many different aspects from maxi dresses to matching knit sets to beautiful like sheer organza blouses. Um, I saw it in so many different ways and I think people are just excited to be bold and loud this summer and just enjoy living life. And I think color is about that too. As much as I love neutral tones, I think some there's just something about vibrant colors like looking into a field of flowers that just makes you happy and smile on to trend number three and i am labeling this one strappy could be called multiple things but we're going with strappy i am a fan of jacquemus and in his spring 2021 ready to wear he has these beautiful like crop tops and skirts with straps on them. I'll put photos up and I think it is just beautiful. I've also been seeing on some of the websites like the yoga pants with kind of like the faux G string, but also just straps. And I personally have a crop top that has straps that go down the back and around the waist. And I just think I love that trend. I think it's kind of sexy. It's definitely fun for summertime and warm weather. And that's one that I will definitely be rocking. And I think you can do it in so many ways, whether it's down the back or around the waist or even at the ankles, just throw some kind of strings in there. You could even wear it as like a little choker, who knows? Trend number four is bralettes. And I feel like this kind of came into style a little bit last fall as well, but I saw a lot of different bralettes, whether they're a monochrome look with a blazer over top of it, like a black blazer and then a black bralette, or just like a really fun pattern bralette with a maybe like a high rise denim or a high rise short. Um, I did see low rise was one of the trends and that's going to be one of them that Ashley's going to skip. But <laughs> um, I am into the bralettes. I think that it can be done and look really chic and like classy. And so that's something that I'm definitely going to jump on, but I don't necessarily think that it has to be a part of a matching set. Like you could honestly throw on, if you had one of those little sports bras and make it look cool with a blazer over top of it or like a cardigan. I think it's also another trend that can be super accessible if you are willing to work with it and get creative. 
the fifth trend was one that was really surprising to me and unexpected and that is corsets and another unexpected purchase from this winter when i didn't even know this would be a trend is this vintage saint laurent corset that i found at a resale boutique here in Minneapolis. So I am incredibly excited to wear this. I've actually, I couldn't wait to wear it. So I wore it to dinner layered over top of this blouse, oversized white button up. And I think that's such a great way to wear these corsets is layered over like a sweater or over a button up or even over the maxi dress. That could be really cool. Um, yeah, I just think that corsets are really feminine. I don't know if it's a Bridgerton thing that is kind of bringing it back into popularity, but if it's something that you're comfortable with wearing, I think it is very cool and I'm excited. I think I say that every time, but I really am excited to see how people style things. Trend number six, baby, we're getting there. And that trend is maxi dresses. I saw these everywhere, just like long, beautiful, flowy, ruffly, colorful sweeping the floor maxi dresses just kind of what you imagine in the summertime and this trend is a total goal for me i actually in one of my past haul videos i showed you this knit kind of i guess it was more of a midi but i'm just saying i love dresses i wear them around the house i think they're so comfortable and especially in the summertime it's just nice to get that air you don't have to shave your legs if you don't want to <laughs> or you can you, you don't have to you do what you want to do but i'm just saying there were so many different prints styles you could wear it in a solid you could wear it in a neutral you could wear it in that bubblegum pink i think you're going to be able to find whatever you want and it's perfect perfect for summer i'm supposed to be talking about spring so perfect for spring and then transition that into summer voila trend number <laughs> that was my puppy i'll show you seven she's sleeping Okay, trend number seven is relaxed workwear. So I initially was th thinking like the relaxed trousers and the wider leg, straight leg, just comfortable trousers. But also I do love the oversized blazers and the oversized button up shirts. So I'm just going to say relaxed workwear as a trend. Um, I think this is perfect because many of us are still working from our homes and we want to be comfortable, obviously, but still look good. And I do think people have reached the point where they're getting a little bit tired of wearing cozies all day, every day, and are looking forward to getting up and getting dressed. So this is perfect because you're still comfortable, but I feel like there's ways to style like trousers with maybe one of the strappy tops where you can make it where it doesn't seem so work wear but it seems more edgy or fashion forward um yeah but i just i'm kind of tired of the sweatpants and i think it'll be nice to see something else some trousers some we've seen blazers for a while the oversized button-ups i love how people are styling that with kind of the wide leg denim or the straight leg denim um i think segueing into that this is kind of come into style last year but the relaxed denim and not having the skinny jeans. I know that's scary for some people, but keep your skinny jeans in your closet, but maybe invest in a pair of kind of the more relaxed straight leg looking denim, and I think you might like it. I was going to step in number seven, but let's make it even, go to number eight, and this is going to be sheer. So this would be like a top that you can see through, and it could be colored, it could be like, I've seen some tie-dye mesh prints, I've seen just solids that you could layer over top of like a camisole or a bralette if you're feeling that. Um, I saw some maxi dresses that were sheer and layered over top of like a slip, or you could even be a little bold and do like a bralette and like a boy short or an undie. I do love the sheer look and I think it's fun and fresh and will keep you feeling really cool in the spring and summertime as well. So we'll round out on number eight. There are so many trends. There's always, especially with just living in this global world, I feel like so many more things are circulating and we get our information from so many more different places than just one magazine. So it's really exciting. Fashion is so fun. We did it, Joe. <laughs> 
actually though we made it through the video together i had so much fun doing the research and sharing my thoughts on the spring trends with you i would absolutely love if you have any opinions or thoughts on any of these trends or to hear about any trends that you're excited about in the comments below if you enjoyed the video i would also love for you to like it and subscribe if you'd like to see more you can follow me on instagram at ashley caprian as well as tiktok and i will see you guys next week in the next video i can't wait p.s if you'd like to see a video like this but more specifically like accessories shoes handbags etc please let me know below too have a good week